prep for a guy like Josh Rosen? Uh, just get after him. Is that the key to a quarterback like that? You gotta minimize his opportunities. You gotta gotta get him uh, off his reads. If you gotta give any uh, top five quarterback in the country a, a chance to go through his uh, primary, secondary uh, uh, reads, it, life would be tough. So, goals is really simple, man. We gotta be active and uh, consistent up front. He's shown that he can throw some interceptions. Is that pressure or what's causing those? A uh, little bit of both. You know, rush and uh, coverage will go hand in hand. And, uh, you know, we, we as a unit, uh, the guys understand the, the urgency of uh, making sure that we're all uh, uh, executing at all levels. And uh, if we do that, we'll give ourselves a chance. How different is this week? Yeah, I mean, last week it was Heisman running back, so you're gearing up for the run. This week it's this quarterback. Total different game plan in that sense? Well, you know, I don't know. I know that uh, that's why you play uh, Pac-12 ball. You know, every weekend is is some sort of a uh, highlight uh, uh, type of uh, uh, players that you're facing, and uh, the amount of talent and whatnot that you face uh, week in, week out, you know, is why you you come to the Pac-12. And uh, you know, this week is no different. You know, last week uh, Love, this week is Rosen, and the rest of the cast that he has there at UCLA. Do you think your defense stacks up better run versus pass, one well, or the other? I, I believe that if, if we execute to come ready to play, what, what things will, 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 will uh, develop as, as we would like to. And so, you know, I don't live in the uh, hope and, and the future stuff. Uh, the, the biggest thing is our guys has got to uh, be really, really sound and, and uh, active in executing our game plan. Coach Taggart discussed how you guys use those four down linemen in that matchup with Stanford. What really changes technically for guys that make kind of that position swap like, like Jalen did in that game? Well, you know, I think you got to utilize your personnel. You know, got to understand what you have and put them in a position to at least give you a chance. And so Jalen presents some of those uh, qualities. And, you know, we'll continue to uh, move our, 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 our personnel a little bit just to, to make sure that we're putting the best 11 guys uh, on the field at every, uh, every series, every down. So as you guys come back to the sideline after, you know, kind of dejected after giving up another touchdown against Stanford, what are you saying to them in those moments? Well, you know, I think in the, in the course of a contest, you know, the ebb and flows is, is real. And uh, you, you want to make sure that the guys are still uh, having that collective uh, uh, spirit. You know, it's not going to stop. You got The biggest thing is, is you make the adjustments. Um, and some of those adjustments might not be a dramatic one. This is more of guys not being uh, physical or not doing it with uh, fanatical effort. And, uh, you know, our goal as coaches is to make sure that uh, the, the, the worry is on us. Not them, and uh, this has got to continue to to, to, to remain uh, uh, sound and, and uh, confident that uh, you know those things uh, are going to be there for us if, if they just continue to play the next play and uh, no hangovers. You can't get beat up uh, twice from the last uh, play to the next one. So you know it's uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress uh, for all of us.